Yo, what is good YouTube? It's your boy Uncle Leo, back with another video. And today, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a different video. It's been a long time since I've uh, obviously recorded, so I streamed on uh, YouTube. I streamed yesterday on Twitch. Uh, my Twitch link is in the description. I've been playing a lot of NBA 2K23 Next Gen. I play an Xbox Series uh, X, S slash X. So if you got that and you wanna add me, I'll have my um, my stream link down below and I'll have my Xbox username. Feel free to drop me um, an ad. Let me know if you add me and send me a message on Xbox or Discord. Um, I'll check it and I'll, I'll, I'll re-add you and we can run some time, but let me get into straight into the point of this video. The point of this video is to talk about Arbor 4, obviously. Arbor 4 is at a very mixed state right now. There is boosting everywhere. Everybody I know is boosting. Everybody. And if they're not boosting, they're not playing the game. So many people are bored of the game already. The game is on a steady downfall already, even with Season 1 that's getting introduced soon. It's, it's still in a steady downfall. We don't have league game mode yet, which is one of the reasons that Arbor 3 survived as long as it is because it had the league's game mode. Um, a lot of people play Rec Center, but it's boring. You just sit around and destroy kids that are terrible at the game, and it's just boring. Park is also boring. It's not like you're playing, you know, bums, but it's almost like 2K where you're just playing the same thing every game in terms of sweats. You're playing shooters or you're playing some shot career that's just doing a bunch of acros off a screen or something of that nature. Or you're playing like a post score or something of that nature. It's just the same thing over and over again. Now, I'm gonna divert a little bit from that and talk about season one, which is gonna be introducing the season passes. We're gonna be getting deep field workouts and we're gonna be getting new rank season and some other things like gameplay changes, leaderboards, clothes, stuff like that, match history. You know, all that, all that stuff is cool. I'm glad that we're getting some sort of update to Arbor World 4 that can hopefully revive the game a little bit. But I just don't think it's enough. I don't think it's enough to really revive Arbor World 4 because I think he took too long. I think that if he had introduced this stuff earlier, the game probably would be in a better state. The fact that it's not even out yet either, since it's been announced, it won't be coming out to the 30th from what I remember. Yes, the 30th I have it open right here. The 30th of September, you know, today's the 19th. We still have to wait just about two weeks and it's already been announced. And it's honestly, I'm not really that excited for it. I really don't think it's that anything that's going to really bring me back to the game. I haven't played in forever. I'm still all star three. I'm still using the shooting slasher that I had before. I haven't made anything new. I haven't played the game. I haven't found it enjoyable. We're not getting league modes with this update. The season passes cost tickets, you know, all that stuff. And it's just like, it just kind of feels like a repeating, like just more stuff to buy, but we're not getting gameplay updates. We're not getting events that we were hoping for. We're not getting quests. We're not getting anything. We're just, it's just stuff to add that we can just buy just to feed him more money. Now, I'm not saying it's a cash grab or anything like that, but it is that is literally what it is it is literally him adding things for us to buy just so he can make more money and at the end of the day yeah he needs to make money because that's how it works that's what he's doing that's why he's making the game to make money but at the same time as his community you know as someone in the community we want to expect some actually good gameplay changes there are still tons of bugs in the game and problems that have not been fixed tricky pass grinding does not work still there are bugs with fouls there are bugs there's just bugs all over the place. I haven't played the game that much lately, so I really don't remember them off the top of my head, but I know there are still issues that can be fixed. There are. Like, literally, there's still a bug from beta where if you buy your upgrades and you go somewhere else, it will not save. That was not in Arbor World 3. That was not in Arbor World 2. I have never seen that glitch before into Arbor World 4. I don't even think that was probably in Arbor World 1, but I don't even remember if you can upgrade in that game. That's been so long. But, you know, we still don't have League yet. Why? I don't know. I don't see a reason for him not to start working on it and add it to the game. That is one of the prime reasons why Arbor World 3 lasted so long was because it had that league game mode. But he's doing the ranked rec and the rec now. And you know, obviously we have the park, but no league for some reason. I don't know why. Like I said, I don't know why. It doesn't make sense. I think that is one of the prime reasons the game is currently dying because there is absolutely no league. Ranked rec is not a replacement for it because you cannot private match me. If you could private match make, okay, maybe that's a different story. Not, but at the same time, not really because you can't do substitutions. I mean, people are literally doing gym leagues. 5v5s in a gym court, which is a park-sized court. 4v4 four four is already as bad as it is. Think about 5v5. Terrible. But, you know, and another reason why the season pass thing seems like such a cash grab is because 
um, for beta players and non-beta players for that matter, you know, obviously with beta players, it's a little bit different. Their first build, you had enough coins to buy clothes and upgrade, but non-beta players, you don't have enough coins to upgrade. You get nothing from Park and Rec Center. And I mean nothing, I mean, yeah, you get coins, but it's literally basically nothing. It is worse than Arbor World 3 by a long shot in terms of how many coins you get. Now, the season passes are going to introduce coin rewards. Is that cool? Sure. But is that should be a replacement for how much VC you get from parking and rank in comparison to how your upgrades are ridiculously expensive in comparison? No. You should not have to have a season pass to get the coins you need for upgrades. I just don't think that makes any sense at all. I think that screams cash grab, but that's just my opinion. You know, at the end of the day, Arbor 4, I think in a competitive aspect, is dying. I think it is dying in that aspect for sure. The game is too fast to grind, too easy to grind. Boosting is, is prominent everywhere. There are tons of scripts out there. Kev Hub, the main one for number one, that I know a lot of people have, a lot of people use, and nobody's getting banned for it. We were hoping for better moderation in Arbor World 4, but it just looks like Arbor World 3 all over again. Sadly, that's probably when it's going to end up like, and the game is probably going to end up dying like it did in 3. But sadly, sooner than 3. And I was really hoping for it to be the opposite because Arbor World 4 really isn't that terrible of a game. It's fun when it's fun, but it's just not fun anymore. I appreciate you guys watching. Stay cool, you everybody. And fingers crossed that the season one update brings more than he says. So hopefully the game gets revived. Like I said, I'll be streaming on Twitch 2K for the most part. Probably not after this video comes out, but um, some point today. Uh, it'll be in the description below. Arbor Forge uh, Discord that I own with Zach is in the description below. Thank you for watching. Stay cool, yo. Drop a like and subscribe. If you didn't like the video, dislike it. I don't care. But stay cool, you guys. Peace out.